10 extinct animals scientists are going to revive. Resurrecting extinct animals is both exhilarating and terrifying. Exhilarating because of the unprecedented opportunities to understand life and boost conservation efforts, but terrifying in part for its ethical quandaries. Advances in science, specifically biotechnology, could enable scientists to bring some of these animals back from extinction. And there are a few already on the list. Generally, it helps if there is a species still alive today that is genetically similar to the extinct animal, like elephants for woolly mammoths, or cows for aurochs. In this video, we look at the 10 extinct animals scientists are planning to revive. But before we begin, kindly subscribe to our channel for more of our amazing content. Please give us a like, share the video, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for timely updates of our weekly uploads. Let's get it on. Number 10. Caspian Tigers During their prime, Caspian Tigers could be found in Turkey and through much of Central Asia, including Iran and Iraq, and in northwestern China as well. But they went extinct in the 1960s. Some scientists want to bring them back by reintroducing the nearly identical Siberian tiger to its old habitats, where they expect it to adapt. It inhabited mostly seasonal flooded riverine land consisting of trees, shrubs, and dense stands of tall reeds and grass up to 6 meters in height. The last known tiger in the Caucasus region was killed in 1922 near Tibsley, Georgia after taking domestic livestock. The last known tiger in Turkey was killed near Oldra Hakera province in 1970. Number 9. Aurochs The aurochs is an ancestor of domestic cattle that lived throughout Europe, Asia, and North Africa. Scientists want to bring them back through selective breeding of cattle species that carry some aurochs DNA. To this end, European teams have been selectively breeding cattle since 2009. The aurochs survived in central Poland until 1627. The aurochs was black, stood six feet high at the shoulder, and had spreading forward curving horns. Some German breeders claim that since 1945, they have recreated this race by crossing Spanish fighting cattle with longhorns and cattle of other breeds. Their animals, however, are smaller, and though they resemble the aurochs, probably do not have similar genetic constitutions. The Carolina Parakeet The Carolina Parakeet was a small green parrot with a bright yellow head and orange face that was native to the eastern United States. The last wild one died in 1904 in Florida. But the genes that made them still linger in close relatives in Mexico and the Caribbean. The Carolina parakeet was 12.5 inches long with a wingspan of about 22 inches. The bird was mostly green with an orange head, a yellow neck, and white legs, its tail feathers giving the impression of being long and pointed. Though skilled climbers, parakeets seemed reluctant to walk from place to place instead of going airborne even to turn around. Sometimes human traits such as laziness were ascribed to these birds. Their voice was said to be loud, harsh, and grating. Though generally not adept at speaking, occasionally the parakeet imitated sounds or words. Some trainers who began with very young birds were successful in teaching them to mimic a limited number of words from human speech. Number 7. The Cuban Macaw The Cuban Macaw or Cuban Red Macaw was a macaw native to the main island of Cuba and the nearby Isla de Juventud that became extinct in the late 19th century. Its relationship with other macaws in its genus was long uncertain, but it was thought to have been closely related to the scarlet macaw, which has some similarities in appearance. It may also have been closely related or identical to the hypothetical Jamaican red macaw. A 2018 DNA study found that it was the sister species of two red and two green species of extinct macaws. At about 45 to 50 centimeters long, the Cuban macaw was one of the smallest macaws. It had a red, orange, yellow, and white head and a red, orange, green, brown, and blue body. Little is known of its behavior, 
but it is reported to have nested in hollow trees, lived in pairs or families, and fed on seeds and fruits. The species' original distribution in Cuba is unknown, but it may have been restricted to the central and western parts of the island. It was mainly reported from the vast Zabata Swamp, where it inhabited open terrain with scattered trees. Number 6. The Dodo The Dodo is perhaps the most famous extinct animal. It evolved without any natural predators. But the humans that arrived on their home island Meridius took advantage of this and killed them all for food. In 2007, scientists found the best preserved dodo skeleton ever, which may hold valuable DNA samples. The dodo is frequently cited as one of the most well-known examples of human-induced extinction and also serves as a symbol of obsolescence with respect to human technological progress. Number 5. Woolly Mammoth Woolly mammoth carcasses have been frozen and preserved, which has allowed scientists to access well-preserved DNA. The last isolated population of woolly mammoths lived on Wrangell Island in the Arctic Ocean until 4,000 years ago. But scientists contest whether we were to blame for their extinction. Scientific evidence suggests that small populations of woolly mammoths may have survived in North America until about 10,500 and 7,600 years ago. Number 4. The Moa The Moa was a giant flightless bird from New Zealand that reached 12 feet tall and weighed more than 500 pounds. They died out because of overhunting by the Mori by 1400, and their closest relatives have been found to be the flighted South American Tinamus, which could hold some of their genes. According to Mori tradition, Moas were swift runners that defended themselves by kicking when cornered. Early Polynesian peoples hunted Moas for food and made spear points, hooks, and ornaments from their bones and water carriers from their eggs. Although the larger Moas probably became extinct by the end of the 17th century, a few smaller species may have survived into the 19th. Number 3. The Huia the Huia was a large species of New Zealand wattlebird. It went extinct in the 20th century because of hunting to make specimens for museums and private collectors. The female had a long curved beak, while the male's beak was shorter. Very little is known about their actual biology, so bringing them back would be fascinating. Number 2. The Elephant Bird This giant flightless elephant bird was found only on the island of Madagascar and died out by the 17th century. It is widely believed that they went extinct as a result of human activity, so we want to make up for that too. Elephant bird remains are abundant, and fossil evidence indicates that each species was massively constructed with conical beaks, short thick legs, three-toed feet, and relatively small wings that were useless for flight. Thus, researchers suggest that these birds were probably slow-moving inhabitants of forests. Some forms of this bird attained enormous size, approaching 10 feet high and weighing about 450 kilograms. The largest known species, V. Titan, stood at least 3 meters high and weighed on average about 650 kilograms. However, some estimates suggest that the largest individuals could have weighed as much as 860 kilograms making it the world's largest known bird. The Pyrenean Ibex The Pyrenean Ibex lived in southern France and the northern Pyrenees, but died out in January 2000. The recently extinct Pyrenean Ibex, also known by the Spanish common name Bacardo, was one of the four subspecies of a wild goat to inhabit the Iberian Peninsula. An attempt to clone the Pyrenean ibex was carried out in 2009, making it the first species to undergo de-extinction. But the clone died due to physical defects in its lungs seven minutes after its birth. There we go! Did you enjoy our video? Which of these extinct animals would you like to see back and running? Well, if you enjoyed our video, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more of our amazing content. Please give us a like, 
share the video, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for timely updates of our weekly uploads. We value your feedback. Feel free to share your thoughts with us in the comments section below.